Around the world, almost one billion people are going hungry. The majority of the world's poor depend on agriculture for incomes and food. When normal sources of food fail and prices rise and become volatile, the poor fall even deeper into poverty. They sell what they own, they stop going to the doctor, their children stay home from school, just to afford the food they need. Los frijoles no los estamos comprando, están muy caros, entonces al cliente venir y preguntar a cómo está la libra de frijoles sienten muy caro el producto. The Global Agriculture and Food Security Program, known as GAFSP, is helping to change all of that. The objective? Increase food security by boosting agricultural production and by increasing the incomes of smallholder farmers. In Bangladesh, over a thousand farmers have already been trained to use more productive methods. But this is only the beginning. The project expects to reach hundreds of thousands of farmers. In Rwanda, GASP helps build hillside terraces that slow erosion. The result is a 400% increase in the yields of cereal and potatoes. Other projects are underway in 18 countries to improve farmland, form cooperatives, and to train and advise farmers. Awards go to the poorest countries with the most promising proposals. Countries, businesses, civil society, as well as farmers themselves must be part of the solution. Growth in agriculture is two to four times more effective in reducing poverty than growth in any other sector. Gafs believes investing in the private sector is also a key part of the process. It's needed to create jobs and to support improved agricultural programs in the long term. The private sector can also ensure a steady market for agricultural goods. That means instead of leaving to find work, farmers can keep farming. GAFSP's commitment to involve public and private sectors is proving effective. Food production will need to increase by 70% to feed the world's growing population by 2050. There is no one-size-fits-all solution. But GASP is creating opportunities for food security where it's needed most.